So I had a question in our marriage group and um, a sister approached me saying that whenever there's a disagreement between her and her husband, he gives her silent treatment for a few days and then he doesn't apologise, so he just kind of lets it go and then carries on with things. Whereas if she goes to apologise to him, she, he just says, oh, OK, and then it gets moved on as well. So both ways. And I want to talk about this because I think it's really important. One of the aspects of marriage is about repair. Um, when we live with somebody for as long as we're going to live with them, and we want that, we want to have long, you know, healthy marriages. Because we're, you know, living with somebody else, we're going to make mistakes or things are going to happen and they're like ruptures in the relationship. We have to remember that, you know, we can't let little things happen and not repair them. And I know you, if you've watched my, any of my other videos, I talk about this like a, a fabric. Um, and your marriage, if you imagine it like a fabric, there's going to be tears and there's going to be things that go wrong throughout the marriage. And you have to make sure that you sew that up. You have to make sure that you repair. If you don't, what happens is there's lots of cuts all over. It might not seem like anything big because you've had tiny little ones here and there, but that building up of the accumulation of those things at some point that it, it, it becomes so frail because you've got tears here, tears there, cuts here, cuts there, that it can just fall apart. And sometimes people don't even know exactly what it was, but it's this accumulation of years and years. You might think that the thing that you're doing is really small and insignificant, but it's really big to your spouse. So I really wanted to um, applaud the sister for asking this question and um, for addressing it because I think it is something that comes up a lot when I, that I see in marriage counselling. So first of all is remember that you know we're all going to make mistakes. You're going to do things, I'm going to do things. Um, and if we don't know how to say sorry, then it just feels like we don't care. So for this particular sister, what she's saying is that her husband um, does something that might upset her or hurt her and then she might do something and then what he does is just gives her the silent treatment rather than addressing it and she, when she does try to talk about it and she says sorry or whatever he'll just say oh okay and then it just moves on there's going to be three things that we need to look at today first of all if you know whatever you do in the marriage you might think of it as something small or insignificant but it might be big to your spouse so being in tune with them recognizing when they're upset or they're sad about something and making sure that you address that that you talk about that because what happens is if you don't it kind of is like well I don't care I've done whatever I've done but I don't care and if you don't talk about it you can't know how to not do it next time um, and when that conversation is happening there has to be some elements in that so there has to be an element of humility you know of taking responsibility that yes i you know i know that doing this thing would upset you and you've got to not have criticism in there as well so it's got to be about the behavior so maybe um the spouse has done is, is late all the time or doesn't help out with something or you're not happy about something and it has to be focused on the thing that's not happening or you're not receiving rather than them being lazy or them being, you know, not caring or them, a label that you put on their personality versus this is a thing that's happening and when this thing happens, this is how it affects me. And then you have to own the emotions. So you, it can't be enough that I go to my husband and say, well, you're doing this and you're doing that and, you know, and, and blaming him. The conversation has to be that when this need of mine isn't met this is how I feel and you know I, if you strip away the fundamentals of this it's essentially like you're living with somebody you have to care whether you hurt them or not you have to and if that principle isn't there then nothing else works and you know if you don't protect one another and you, you're not sensitive to each other's feelings then everything else is separate you know like it's built upon that so the foundation has to be that I do care about the way that my actions affect my spouse. And if my spouse tells me, you know, if my husband or my wife tells me that, you know, a certain way of me doing things has this effect on them, then naturally I should at least look at that, you know. The sister talked about silent treatment and that's like an avoidance mechanism. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna talk to you and it can feel like a bit of a punishment as well. If you are, you know, if, I, if my husband does something 
and then you know I don't talk to him for a few days look at the impact of that you know my my hus my husband doesn't know where he stands with me he might not know exactly what he's done wrong he doesn't have an uh, an uh, opportunity to apologize because I don't allow that it is a sense of punishment in that and so it's really important for the spouse that you know does go into that space where they don't talk to their you know husband or wife when they're upset that they find a way to do that they find a way to be able to express look I'm hurt or I'm upset or when you did this thing okay and for the spouse who is receiving the silent treatment find a way to make your spouse feel safe to open up to you you know to allow you to say look we can't separate let's just by not talking about it doesn't mean that it's not it's gone away it doesn't disappear these the tears that I talked about they don't just disappear they're still there all you're trying to do is find another you know territory on that cloth of your marriage and just move on to that one and you think the other one's left behind but it isn't it you haven't left it behind it's still a part of your marriage it's an imprint on your marriage and it's, it defines the story of your marriage for the long term imagine that happening once twice three times it becomes a story it becomes the norm it becomes this is how my husband treats me that he gives me the silent treatment and i'm left feeling in all these kind of ways that i don't want to feel um and it also leaves opportunity to make up a story that might not be true you know i i can if i'm not clarified in what somebody's feeling or not feeling then i come up with a story in my mind i can say well it means this or it means that you know and the last thing we want is to alienate one another so communication is so important if anything goes wrong please find a way to sit down and and as much as anyone says you should talk about what went wrong you should say in that situation this is what happened what can we learn from that so that that doesn't happen again what was happening for you in that situation what was happening for me um because you're in service of the marriage and in service of Allah not for each other not because of your ego and if you can put the ego aside and and say no this is another human being and i want to be able to look at them from a good light then it's easier to do so that's my advice for the sister today um i hope that that was helpful jazakallah khairan for watching if you found this helpful please subscribe to my channel um you'll find me on instagram i have a, a marriage group on whatsapp as well if you'd like to join if anybody wants to um seek out any help for counseling then my contact details are my email is on there as well underneath the video please reach out and if i can help i will inshallah jazakallah khairan for watching assalamu alaikum